definition in marriage. The definition I know is husband understand your wife, wife understand your husband. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chichi Wanchuko in the building. If you are new in my channel, you're highly welcome. My name still remains Chichi Wanchuko. My channel is about being positive, guys. Be strong in the Lord and never you give up yeah my old subscriber my returning subscriber you're always tuning and you guys are so amazing without god and without you i won't be here i just want to use this opportunity to say i appreciate you i love you i love you may god bless you yeah today we're gonna be talking about husband love your wife as christ love the church why is it that husband are no longer loving their wife bible make it clear it said husband love your wife as christ love the church Nowadays, all we are hearing is, uh, I'm no longer, I mean, I can't carry it now. I know I'm tired and I mean, I can't stay again. Uh, it's too much. You know, the next thing you'll be hearing, oh, no, no, no. I, I have a new man. I have to live my life. Um, what are we hearing? Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. You see, you are the one, you went to that person's house. You saw her. You love her. You believe that, I mean, we can come together. Some even come together, having relationship, knowing yourself. Even on the process of having that relationship, there's a lot of misunderstanding. You forgive her, she forgive you. So why? What happened now that you guys cannot come together to forgive yourself? That is number one. You see, Bible make it like said, no one is what? Perfect, but we should work toward perfection then you are expecting your wife to be perfect or you are expecting your husband to be perfect. But today we're going to be talking about husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. You see, it's, I mean, it's too much nowadays. We don't really understand what is going on in marriage. But we have to balance the equation. Let it not be like, I mean, it's only the woman that will make it work. No. You guys have to come together to make it work. It's about understanding. I made it clear that marriage has no definition. The definition in marriage is you understanding your wife. You must understand your wife. Your wife understand you. The one that really baffled me, you will see a man telling you that uh, she's no longer pretty. She's no longer this. She's no longer the person that used to be. She's that. She's that. Have you really found out to know why she's no longer behaving the way she used to behave. You are expecting her to be 100% perfect. Why Bible make it clear that nobody is perfect? We should walk towards perfection. So that is to say we are not perfect. We are not, but we will try to walk towards perfection. You don't expect her to be 100% perfect. Yeah, it was working before and now it's not working. Have you tried to like, okay, let me find out why is it not working? Or you have just concluded and said, no, I don't want it again. You see, your wife is what? Helpmate. We are what? Helpmate. If they said the wife is helpmate, after God created Adam, he now looked at it, he said, I think you need a helpmate. Then he now created woman and said, take it. And Adam called it bone of my bone. The bone of my bone. Woman, the bone of my bone, and Bible make it clear, help me. Okay, now your help mate now turn to be what? Your foot mate. It's no longer your help mate. You don't you, you don't love her again. The one that is really bad for me, you will see a woman after having children. The next thing you don't you just dislike her. The next thing you start saying she's she's no longer pretty. A woman that brought blessing in your house. Bible said that children is a blessing. Then you are expecting her to be like, I don't know, figure eight or whatever. Fine, she was, let's say she was like figure eight when you people are dating or, or when you got married to her. But now children has changed her shape. Then the next thing you should talk to her politely when I think you are getting fatter, I need, I think you have to go for gym, you know, or even you can even buy some exercise, some things, you know, some sports, something that she can be using. Or you talk to her. Not every day you start beating her. Every day you start talking to her. Every day you start treating her badly, treating her as if I mean. Then the next thing, you destroy your home by looking for side chick. 
Do you think that having plan B is the best? You are destroying your home. Look at your children. Which example are you showing them? Can they look at you and call you, wow, sweet daddy? Dad, I would like to be like you. Are you just looking at now? You are not looking at the future, how the future is going to be. Why will you compare your wife with side chick outside? A woman who is there for you. A woman who is taking care of you, taking care of your children. A woman after having pregnancy, nine months, carrying nine months pregnancy, with sickness and everything. Then the next thing you start condemning her shape. She tried to, okay, let me do exercise and the shape is not coming back. Then the next thing you can do is for you to start looking for side chick. Some men don't even take care of their wife. They don't, they don't even take care. You prefer to give side chick all what you have. While your wife, you don't even care to ask if, I mean, she needs something. Your wife might have a good job. Yes, your wife might be busy. Money is coming, but as a husband, Bible make it clear, say the man is the head. A man is the head, meaning that you have to take your responsibility as a man. A woman is helpmate. It doesn't mean that maybe because this woman, maybe she's doing a good job or she have a good job or she's working, she's earning good salary, meaning that you will not assist, you will not show that love. You can even be going, let's say maybe out there you see something that what 10 naira or maybe 10 euro. You just say, I think my wife would like this. I like this. Honey, the love is no longer there. Maybe because your wife must have wronged you the existing that your wife did, you are still have it in mind. It's not only women, the men that carry them. They don't let go, they don't forgive so easy. If you cannot forgive your wife, who would you forgive? A woman you are going to spend the rest of your life with. You don't want to forgive her. Comparing your wife with your side chick outside. What will even make you to have a, to have a side chick? Why you have wife? Why can't you make it work? I mean, you see, two must come together to make it work. The mathematics is not only for the woman. Some people, they used to say, okay, yeah, the woman owns home, that the one that will make it work. Yes. I understand. But it doesn't mean that it's only the woman that will make it work. Two of you must come together. That thing that you look outside, or that thing that you see in that side chick, why can't you bring it to your wife? Is it a sin for you to tell your wife, only there's this man I watch, there's one movie that I watch. The man was telling, honey, you are this type, you always like, you know, why is it that you are no longer? And all of a sudden, the woman just change and the man was like wow yeah this is the enkiro i used to know this is the you know I've, I've also this one is physical this one is not a movie a man got married to a lady she don't know how to cook she taught her how to cook so you can as well do it you can teach your wife how to cook if you if let's say you are the best cook okay maybe come to think of it you got married to a woman you don't expect her to be perfect. There are some area that she's not perfect that you are perfect. Then that area that you know that she's not perfect, why not teach her? She might maybe, be, everything is about brought up. Maybe there's something they did not teach her. Home training. Then you love her the way, you know, she is. And now you are living together. Only I, I mean, I love good environment. She might be this type that is not really well organized. When it comes in, you know, home, some whatever. Maybe you are this type that you like to stay in a clean environment. You can still teach her. It's your wife. You are this type that you love, maybe this type of hair. Maybe your wife don't even care whether there are women that don't even care. Not as if they don't like it, but that this is just there. The woman might not know what you have in mind, but there is this thing that you, instead of you to teach your wife, you prefer to go out there. You prefer to look for plan B. You prefer to look at a, what do they call a side chick outside. You prefer to destroy your home. But this is a vow that you took for better, for good, for better, for worse. Then you believe that it's only the woman that will make it work. No, it doesn't work like that. Why are you beating your wife? 
Why are you beating your wife? Haven't you heard this scenario? You see a man talking, they say, close your mouth. Why are you talking like a woman? I, that man to talk. Even woman self. Because they know that women, it's only mouth. They can be shouting. Then because of that, boom, you are hitting your wife. Boom, boom, boom. You don't even care about your children. Can your children look at you and they were like, oh, dad, I would like to be like you. What are you teaching them? You are just beating. Bam, dating woman. Then you start abusing, start calling her names, start doing. Don't forget. Bible make it clear, husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And he went ahead and said, nobody is perfect. Then you want a perfect woman. You know that she's not perfect. On the process, there was a time that you forgive her. When you people are still, you know. Then why can't you forgive her now? Why must you see her like a perfect? Why? Just because of little thing, you are beating your wife, beating your wife, beating your wife. Why? Is it by beating? If you are this type that I mean you cannot endure, then left. You can just leave. If you people are having misunderstanding, is it by beating that you can correct your wife? It's not by beating. Why are you nagging? Some men nag. You come back everywhere is dirty. You come back everywhere just somehow. Fine, I'm not like saying that it's, it's good for a woman to be dirty. No. Maybe this woman is busy in the morning. Maybe he woke up late because he's, he's, she's tired. Then she just wake up. She put, you know, she was just doing. Are you, you already, you know that she's going to work. She went to work. She was not able to like, uh, you know, arrange things well. You came back before her, and everywhere was just her. You know that she's coming late. Then you just say, uh, let's say, sat in the parlor. You, are wait you waited for her. Immediately, she just came. You start beating her. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Which is wrong. You can as well fix it. You see, do it. Make everywhere look nice. She come back. She has conscience. Ah, she say, honey, thanks. There are some things that my husband would do. I will start. Maybe I will... That will prepare something. Then I'm tired. Inside me, I was like, oh, I wish my husband would help me. My husband came back. I did not tell my husband to do it. But the next thing, my husband started doing it. Then I will not even know when I will say, honey, God will bless you for that. My husband will look at me and smile. I'm not trying to say that my husband is perfect. So I'm just giving this as an example. So there are some things. You, you, let's say now, you came back and everywhere was, I mean, was not looking good. I'm not saying maybe your husband went to salon to do, your wife went to salon to do her. You know, she did not tidy everywhere. She did not clean. She just left everywhere dirty, which is wrong. Then that one, yes. But let's say maybe she went to work. She was late. There was no time for her to tidy, to clean everywhere. Let me put it in this way. You came back and you made it like that. Instead of you to arrange it, you say, no, this is a work that belongs to your wife. It's wrong. You can help her as well. Do it and immediately she come back, try to, you know, talk to her politely. If it's a good woman, she will first of all only time so everywhere is neat, so only please. You will not even answer anything. She will start explaining. You say, don't worry, I understand, I understand, honey. Must you say anything you say, must you say it out? Be a man. Bible say man is the head. Are you taking your responsibility as a man? Or um, because of the, this woman is earning salary, you believe that, I mean, you cannot look at her and say, honey, take this money, go and make your hair. Honey, go and do this. Honey, I think you need, uh, you need to change your wardrobe. Honey, I think you do this. Of course. You must not, like, you have to show that care. You have to be careful. You have to, like, the worst of it is stop beating your wife. Your wife is not a stick. You can, there are ways that you can correct your wife. Correcting your wife is not by beating. Correcting your wife is by, you know, having conversation. You guys, you know, together, try to explain some certain things you don't like. Some men don't even say what they have in mind. Some men that are angry, you'll be packaging it. You put it. Some men don't even have. Here, the woman that said, ah, my husband don't used to say something, no. 
until if we are, he, he will be waiting for us to have misunderstanding. Why? I know that some men, they don't do it intentionally, but it's wrong. If you didn't tell your wife that you are angry, how is your wife going to change? If you didn't like, maybe come out to explain things why you are not happy. She wouldn't know what you have in mind. That is to say you don't want the marriage to work. Because if you want the marriage to work, you must correct your wife. If your wife is, you know, doing some mistakes, you know that some things your wife is not doing, you know, that you don't like, you must say it out. Why must you have secrets? Why must you? I'm not like saying you cannot take a decision as a man to do some certain things, you know. Maybe let's say for instance, there are some things you can just do. Casual something. But you know that things that you don't do, you don't take decision alone. Example, you don't just wake up one morning and start building us with that. I mean, having a conversation with your wife. You don't just maybe start doing some certain things, spending money to, you know, some, you know what I mean? You people have to come together. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. You have to come together, you know, talk things together, make plans together. As a family, you must not have side chick outside. Because having side chick, you want to destroy your home. You prefer to build a house to your side chick. You prefer to take care of your side chick, family, and everything. More than your wife. Which is wrong. So that is why I summarize this by telling, by telling you guys to come together, pray together as a family. Pray together as husband and wife. Make it work. Remember, nobody is perfect, but we should watch towards perfection. So you don't expect your wife to be perfect. Treat your wife. Treat her like a queen. Pamper her. Take care of your wife. Take care of your home. Your wife's shape changed because of a blessing. Appreciate her the way she is. Don't send her packet. Don't go and look for side chick because her shape has changed. Take care of her. Her, change, her shape changed because of you. So because of that, you have to be happy. So don't hurt your wife. Your wife is your helpmate. And Bible makes it clear. Love your wife as Christ loved the church. So you must love your wife. Take your responsibility as a husband. Be the head of the home. Try to know what is wrong. Try to make it work. Try to understand your wife. Your wife will understand you and try to be the one that will make peace in the, in the home. And the wife too will make peace too. But you guys have to come together. You have to show that you are the head of the home. Don't look for plans B. Don't look for side chick. Make your home to be better. You can make it work, I know. Because you are the head of the home. You can make it work. Two must come together to make it work. I see this way be blessed. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming. May God bless you. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this message. Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Don't forget to press the bell notification so that each time I post a video, you'll be notified. I love you guys. Go and be blessed. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and share. If you have not subscribed, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Love you, I love you, and love you. And tell someone that. Husband must love their wife as Christ loved the church. And if you are husband watching me, say as on today, I will love my wife as Christ loved the church. And if you are wife watching me, say I will be the helpmate and I will love my husband forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. But remember that Jesus loves you most. Go and be blessed. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Love you.